Hi guys, it's Siri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How you doing? How you doing today guys? Carson is here again, back by popular demand because you guys seem to <laughs> enjoy the videos that Carson <laughs> are. So um, yeah, Carson is back. Um, yeah guys, so today from the title you can already tell. Um, how long have we been together now? Five years? Yeah, we met in 2014. Six. Yeah, but we started yeah. dating in 2015. So sure. we've technically been together for five years, married for two years, but we've known each other for six years. Um, and um, so many things I would like to say, I don't know if you agree, um, has changed about Carson <laughs> since <laughs> we've been together. And in today's video, Carson is going to be letting us on tea on the things that has changed about his life, about him. Well, you got things to say you've said already too. About what? No, 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 you, I'll, I'm just going to chip in while you talk. No, but, but it's I want you to take the lead. Okay, it's so much easier for you to notice things that have changed. <laughs> things just change in my life and then... <laughs> yeah, so guys, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Um, before we get into that, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button like this video if you do and if you're one of those people who's coming back keeps coming back watching and not subscribing god is judging you i'm trying to reach 3k wow. guys help me get there okay now let's get into the video okay mr carson james do you want to take over or do you want me to just go ahead i you're doing a great job <laughs> just keep doing what you're doing okay guys so like i said a uh, few things i have noticed and even you to use sometimes at home you just Say something's like, oh yeah, this thing, like, since I met you, <laughs> you know, these things have changed about me. And we're going to be talking about um, that in today's video. So, what is the first thing you think? Uh, because there are some things I think, and there are some uh -huh. things. So, which, what do you think about you has changed since we've been together? Any way I've influenced you, you know, and stuff like that. Um, one that I notice every day is, like, my music preferences mm. are totally different now. Are you scratching oh, your yeah, eyes? Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm, I'm like thinking and just my eyes is itchy. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> that was really dumb. Yeah, like... Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, no, I um, I listen... Obviously, like, I listen to a lot of African music and stuff now. But, yeah. like, um, I listen to a lot more, like, hip-hop and rap and that kind of music. Mm -hmm. A lot more top 40 stuff. I never really had, like, music like a favorite genre and I would still say I don't yeah like it really just depends on my mood of the day mm -hmm. but on on the regular yeah I listen to a lot more like I don't know what I guess you just call it like black people music black. I don't know what In else quotes, like black stereotypical people. like yeah hip-hop and yeah. rap and I are actually but I also put out I listen to a lot of black artists now mm. that I would have never listened yeah. to and not just like obviously because they're African but a lot of like like western black artists yeah i still i think i still remember the first like nigerian music i played for you it was mm -hmm. johnny mm -hmm. johnny leave me for cynthia that was like back in 2014 and johnny was like the popping song and that was like the first nigerian slash afrobeat yeah. songs that i uh, i played to you do you i don't know you probably don't remember i don't remember so i just wanted to ask like do you remember like your first reaction when you heard the song like what did you think if you don't remember that's fine that's like four years of no I, it wasn't also. like Cause it's not, it's not like overnight I went to like Afro Jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember, I remember just being like, oh, this is Nigerian music. Okay. Yeah. And then I thought the music video was funny. That music video it was, was funny. You were it for me. <laughs> yeah, but I was telling you what was happening yeah. to me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, guys, I too, I noticed that Carson's music has changed. These days, he's even, sometimes he's the one that tells me, babe, he sent me a link on YouTube. Have you heard like the song? Like sometimes he hears like latest Nigerian songs even before I do like, he hooks me up, he plugs me with Nigerian music. So yeah, that's one thing <laughs> I too, um, I've also noticed. So what else have you noticed? Uh, but let me say one. One thing, this one is a mannerism. I told you the other day when we were <laughs> This one is a mannerism that Carson picked up from me and also from like African friends that we spent time. From, no, let's let's say more, Nigerian. Let's be more specific. Yeah. No, because it's not just Nigerian. Who? All of the African, so... I don't know what it is, guys. I <laughs> love irritating the women in my life. If you're, if you're my wife, my mother, my female coworkers, anybody, if you're a woman in my life, at some point I'm going to irritate you just, just for, for the fun. fun of it. <laughs> and so I, I can't. It's in my nature. I'm sorry. There's nothing yeah, no, I can sorry. do about it. No, I am. I really wish I wasn't like this. I don't know why I'm like this, but I am. And all the effort. Well. The mannerism yeah. that all of the African women in my life 
So Years. the one thing, like when Carson irritates me a lot, I'm an Nigerian. If you're an Nigerian, we know he likes it. He's always like, you know, kissing <laughs> the teeth, like, oh, I'm tired. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, Carson picked that up from me. It's so yeah. funny because sometimes I would be in the bedroom and Carson is gaming in the living room, and I, maybe he's frustrated with his game. I would just hear him go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do it at work too. Students will do stuff, and I'm just like. <laughs> he never used to do that before I couldn't do me. it before. I didn't yeah, even know I how to do it. I remember when you were trying to like, practice rang, how rang, to do rang. it. I remember when Carson was trying to practice how to do it. He was struggling. And now it's like <laughs> nature to you. Just yeah. like... I do it all <laughs> the time. Like at least once a day. That's you know? so funny. Yeah. Okay. What else? Oh, the big, the big obvious elephant in the room. What's that? My style of dress. Yeah, his style has changed. Yeah. Thanks to Mua, the light and the beacon that came into his life. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> Pump yourself up even more. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, no. I. I. Where was I going with that? Style yeah, of dress. Yeah, I'm leaning back, sir. Yeah, it's like gonna be out style, of focus. Style of dress is different. I mean, I still wear t-shirts and stuff, but my pants are different. The colors I wear are different. Um, I do attribute some of that to like living overseas and just being able to do whatever I want without like fear of like people that are And also like you. your weight loss. Yeah, right? and I've also lost a bunch of weight yeah. and like my body's changed and stuff. Yeah. Not nearly as much weight as I'd like, but that's another video. <laughs> um, but like I'm more comfortable wearing like tighter fitting clothing or even like I own a pair of like white pants now that I really like. I would yeah. have never bought a pair of white pants. But that also comes down to like the, the people I grew up with were like pretty judgmental actually. Um, my group of friends was like pretty judgmental. We were pretty toxic to each other actually. Like it was kind of, it was really dumb and there was another, there's another video in there. So like people would have judged me for like wanting to own something like that. And I would have judged them at the same time. It was mm. sort of like a revolving. Yeah. But being, yeah, being with a, with a, a black African woman has definitely changed my style. Yeah. Absolutely. I remember um, that photo you showed me of, that was trending on Instagram, that one white guy. He in this, the first picture was like him in like preppy white boy outfit and when as you keep sliding And he had curly hair Yeah, and as you keep sliding you keep seeing like his outfit, like his style changing and stuff and stuff And then at the end was like, which black woman came into your life? Yeah. <laughs> Shaved like, head, Like half beard, line up, yeah. and, you know, like I remember, yeah. when, remember when you went to that black barber shop in England I'm to cut your that. hair yeah. Carsey was like, oh my god, that hairstyle, you really liked it because they gave you like the line and it stuff It was clean, my yeah. mom my mom loved it. I went home for Christmas and my mom was like, that's the best haircut I've ever seen. And I was like, those boys did my hair for like an hour and a half. And she was like, well, that's that's a wicked haircut. Yeah, she loved so, it. Yeah, I've noticed like Carson's style has changed too over time. When I first mm. met him, he had a regular white boy style. Yeah. Just a regular Nothing. everyday Joe style. <laughs> Boys change over time because when we go to shop together, he always like, Carson, likes to buy things that I would like. Sometimes I say, babe, just buy what you like. But I was like, no, I want to buy what you would like. So I have like my influences and my mm. colors going into his life. I'm surprised you admitted that on camera <laughs> because you always deny it when I tell you, look at my closet is entirely stuff that you would like. And you're like, no. No, you love all those brown shirts. <laughs> hey, and new it nudes and neutrals look good on you. Yeah, uh -huh. So yeah, style is another thing that has changed. Anything else we can think of right now? Um, I mean the like a huge one is like I'm hyper aware of like racism and white mm, privilege But yeah. I mean that that kind of goes without saying I mean we've talked about that on the channel. Yeah, but that is like Like it's just so easy to see white privilege when your partner doesn't also have the same privilege as yeah. you. and uh, I'm significantly less tolerant of people in my life being even like mildly racist for comedic value Yeah, people make like they'll say I don't know, like even, not even necessarily like slurs, but they'll make a joke where I'm just like, mm. mm -mm, mm -mm. and they're like, what? It's not a big deal. And I'm like, no, 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 shut your mouth. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know what you were trying to say. It's fine. I'm not mad about it. Don't say it again. Yeah. Not around me. Yeah. I'm, I'm really, really much more aware of that kind of stuff and like significantly less tolerant. And it's, it's kind of unfortunate because like, like I, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm perfect at this either. By the way, I'm not trying to like toot mm. my own horn, but it's like a lot of people, a lot of white people, don't like learn about racism until they meet people that experience it, and it's unfortunate that that's sort of like what it takes. 
mm. sometimes. Like I, I, I wish like white people that grew up in all white neighborhoods with all white teachers and all white friends would just like come to have the come to Jesus moment where they understand. Yeah, and like some do to to a degree, but I, but I think, I think it takes like a lot. You have to have like people of color in your life to really see it because at the very worst if i knew nothing about like white privilege and racism and all these things at the very like lowest level of education i could always just frame it as like i don't want people to talk about my wife that way yeah so like obviously i don't want anybody to talk about any people of color in a racist way or yeah. you know anything like that but but I think having a person of color so close to you in your life really helps with that. Or having, in this case, a black person yeah. so close to you in your life, right? Because like even even some of my extended family who, you know, are same as me, like grew up in mostly white areas and there wasn't a lot of black people, mm -hmm. are now much more aware just because you're in their life. Yeah. And even if you're in their life in a small way, like my extended yeah, family like, who only like, sees you like you know, once like every five when, years. Like when your parents went to like the Black Lives Matter, um, yeah protest there you go in like your hometown it was really sweet and it, obviously it was because i'm a part of a family and you know what this whole black Lives matter movement affect me and affects them too because i'm now a member of the family you know so yeah, yeah like little things like this it's, it's absolutely like really nice and it just shows like like i mean it's it's kind of sad that it's like some for some people you kind of need to have somebody like a yeah. person of color in your life for you to actually see it but if that's what it takes and the most important thing is you're taking yeah. a step towards being a better yeah. person, you know, so. Yeah, sometimes yeah. people talk about that online where they're like, well, it shouldn't have to be like that. And I'm like, right, it shouldn't, but the, the end result is Yeah, it, it's, it's like, it's better late than never. Yeah. You know? Like, even if it takes you like 20 years for you to see these things, at least you got you get to a point of your life where like okay i see this thing yeah. better than just living your whole life being an ignorant person that you know you mm -hmm. want to be so yeah okay that was like a little i mean i don't want to call it heavy black like i mean it is heavy but at the same time it's important to talk yeah. about those things but no but it, it's the like yeah if you're if you're dating a black person yeah and, you're with yeah, a black and, person that's, and you don't yeah that's i'm sorry to cut you like i'm very happy that i'm with someone like carson who is very open number one to learning about these things even before i met carson or also not before i met him when i first met him like you were already like into things like this and just yeah. me just being in your life kind of like propelled you even faster i yeah. guess to be more kind of into it so as a black person dating a white person it's very nice to know like you have a partner who understands who sees it who acknowledges it and tries to do better like, you know helping himself and helping people around him to see, you know, like this is the way we should go as people, you know, and stuff like that. Because it would be really, I don't know, I don't know if there are any interracial couples out there who the white partner is like, oh, all lives matter. I'm like, how do you sleep at night with each other yeah. in this, on the same bed and, you know, eat in the same house? Because I wouldn't. So it's really nice to know that I have a partner who is woke, as the kids would say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah that's really nice i think we should end it there because i think this video is getting super duper long now is it? and i don't want it to be long but do you have any other thing you want to add to like things that have changed about you since Shh, i have a been... beard now yeah. that's a big one i, I made him i made him keep a beard because no baby face carson we're not doing that i no, like it's not. It's not i like me i like the beard no he cannot shave that beard shaving the beard means divorce means ending of the marriage means not talking to each other for like what five months she'd cry if i shaved i would really be heartbroken if carson came back one day with no beard for no reason maybe if it's for a job i would understand okay maybe for your work you need to have a clean face but if it's like oh. i just made up my mind i don't want to keep my beard anymore how dare you why would you do that to our beard without consulting our me? beard so yeah i made him keep the beard and he looks good on him i like him like this Anyway guys, so I think we should end this video here because I don't want it to be super long. Maybe in the future I would come and do something that has changed about me since being with Carson because I, there's a few if I sit down to think about it. It would just be negative things. It would be like, <laughs> I do these white people things and I hate it. No, white, don't make white people things look negative, babe. There's positives in every race, ethnic city, countries, and you know, everything. So. Hard disagree, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, we do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget, I'm trying to reach 3,000 subscribers, guys. Help me, okay? Subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed and you enjoy my content and you keep on coming and you're not subscribing. Consider subscribing, guys, okay? I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye! Bye.